To feed or not to feed? Render forest. Okay, so today just gonna feed whatever one of my teas are hungry. Um, I've got quite a few that have been in malt. They have malted over a week ago, and uh, I just wanna see if they're ready to eat. Some of them just been off their food for the past couple of weeks, so I'm just gonna see if they're ready to eat. Um, so just gonna get straight into it. We'll just go along with um, whichever ones I pick out today. So if you do enjoy the videos, remember to please subscribe to the channel, guys. Always help me out, thank you very much. Uh, leave a comment and a like. So further ado, let's get started. Okay, so first up, sling feeding. You can see that there, Huntsman. Just water the enclosure. And I've actually ran out of fruit flies. For these, so I need to get some more, but my local supply had none in, so they're gonna have to hold on for a minute. I can try a small cricket, see if he'll take, but what I can do is I can just leave him in there and see if he feeds on that one. If not, what I've done is took the obviously, I've killed the cricket and um, took the back legs off and then just leave it. So we've got in here, I think this one's another Huntsman. Yes, it is. Heteropoda Giovanna. And there is a Malt. So we'll just water this one and I'll leave it for a few more days. Oh, escaped. Right, no spider. Okay, so that was another escape. He ran across the table, but got him back in there. These are just so fast, these ones. Beautiful spider day. Watered. This one, I am, um, I've never seen this one for ages, but there is um, SP Tsunami, I think that's how you say it, but it's absolutely tiny dwarf species. But you can see the tunnel that it is bringing through there, but I never ever see this one. I saw it the other week, so I know it is still alive. Oh, there it is, there it is. I haven't seen him in ages. If you can see, there's some legs right there and coming up the top, so he has definitely grown. But I just dropped dead, oh, there he is, beautiful. You can see him. You can't really see it, focus on it. If you can see there in front of this thumb, my left thumb, He's just there and I've not seen him and I've had him for months and he was smaller than 0.5 and I think now he's over a centimetre. So I know that's not much but these ones for some reason I find it hard to keep them so this one I'm doing it really really well. So I'm quite pleased with that so I'm just going to do what I normally do and drop in a crushed cricket or a leg. And we've got small crickets here. Um, he does feed on it because it will move. So if I can get that off, there you go. So I've placed it right in the middle. So I know when I come back next time, if he's not there, he has fed on it. And what he or she normally does is just moves it over, feeds somewhere, and it's slightly still um, rolled up in a corner somewhere. Uh, hide on that one. So that's another small one. These are the smallest ones I've never really shown you. And uh, in here, I do believe... Right, see I've written on there, this one I've actually forgotten, but you can see it's buried all the way to the bottom, gone all the way around and down here, and he's not at the bottom, so he's halfway up his tunnel, but he's done like a spiral going the whole way around. Uh, Orphanaceous species Cebu. I do think it is that one in here, which is getting bigger now, but I also thought it was the Brachypalma albiceps, because I can't remember what tub I've put that one in, but the Brachypalma albiceps doesn't, burrow as far as I'm aware but some of them do when they're slings but I can't remember so I'll have to identify this one when it gets a little bit bigger but I can try and see if I can feed this one because it has taken off me before it's right there let's see if I can show you it's literally just down there in that tunnel all right let's just move this around and see if he comes up I 
So I'll literally leave this one here and he will come up and just take it at some point. Let's just put one leg out. Here he comes, here he comes. If you can see his feet there. And hopefully, if I want to get a look at him to see if I can identify which species. There you go, there you go. Nope, and he's going to take it. This one here is Acanthoscuria genicolata, and I had this, a couple of these, from 0.5, so I had them really, really small. But these are really, really good eaters if anybody's got any of these. I've got a much bigger one of these. Ah, here you go, there you go, whoa. <laughs> Literally jumped straight out to get that then. Right, it's just bits of water. This one here. See if you can guess. That's right, GBB. Here we have Brachypalma Amelia, one of my personal favorites. And she's just run away. Oh God. Aggressive take there. She still got it, but I can feel the vibrations going down the tongs. She got it. Can't see if she has. Uh, he's actually in the water dish. Let's put some water in. See the cricket? There you go, she got it. So last time I checked, this one was in pre-molt, my Vicularia Vicularia, pink toe. So we'll see how she is now. She's not, aha, she has molted. So she has got bigger. And now I think I can definitely sex this molt. Yeah, she's definitely looking some size now. Because you never know what you're going to get when you go to do feeding. So that looks like, oh, that's very twisted. But I might be able to get that apart and have a look. So we will find out. But there she is there. I named this one Silky. Freshly malted. And I think she was four inches last time. So we should see, soon see how big she is and what she looks like. Okay, so here we have uh, N. Chihippi, giant blonde. Let's see if this one, this one is a voracious eater, so let's just see if it'll take a slightly bigger cricket. Yes, he does, took that very, very gently. Slowly does it because she normally runs out. Right, let's see if she's hungry. Oh, yep. Straight away. Coloration underneath the feet there, the green as well. Oh, what a shot, the cricket. Sorry, mate, what way to go? Okay, here we have another Acanthus Scuria genicolata, one of my favorites. I named this one Harry. This is the one that I've had for over a year and lost two well, leg and uh, front petty palp, but has managed to grow it all back very, very successfully. Very good take, made a jump as well. <laughs> Alice. 
Now these I took in a pair, and I think I've actually labelled this wrong. I think this is the male in this enclosure, but until they molt, um, they've not fed. I had to move them into small enclosures, these ones, to get them settled in. Um, one's fed, but only when I leave the food in, they will not take anything off me. Let's see if I can show you them. No, oh, it's gone and hid straight away. So that's the male, but I will see if it will take something now. Oh God, yes, Christ, that made me jump. So that's the first meal. Right, and I'm absolutely really happy because the, the people that owned these before um, could no longer keep them. And they literally got rid of their whole collection and offered me this breeding both sub-adult pair. I think the female is actually ready. And I've got this one marked down as the female, but I am not sure. I think this is the male. Because uh, the female I've got in another enclosure, which you might see in a minute, is huge. So at least this one's fed and I'm happy. So I know they're now doing fine. So there you go. So laying the web. So that's what I find if I get a new tea that's been moved from enclosures, been sat in for living in for well over a year. Plus, they don't eat for a while. And I find that if you put them in a small enclosure, um, they tend to do quite well quickly. So first time feeding. So that's a thumbs up for me, that one. Well happy. I'll just show you the name. So Heteropoda Giovanna Stony Huntsman. This is one that gave me the slings. And I am a little bit on the uh, cautious side again. Because if you can see that, you can see on the screen, that is one fat booty. And I've read on these that when they... Um, obviously mates they can store the sperm for a while and have up to five sacks so i think she's potentially got another sack on the go um i was hoping not because they have quite a few but i think she is so if i just give her some water i don't think she's going to take any food because she's too big Let's see if we can put her on a bit of a diet just try her on one of those. Yep, yeah, and she's hungry. So I do think she's about to have another sack. See if I can get you a clearer shot. Right, if I move this back, we have to be careful because she is lightning fast. Oh, there you go, she's coming out there. And she's massive. So all the ones that got a uh, sling from me from this one, this is the actual mum, so you can actually see her here. But she's definitely, I think, going to go in to have another sack. We'll keep an eye on her, but just a really good species to have. I think that's why she's not been fast for a while running around, because she is gravid. Okay, so here we have another Ficularia versicolor. And let's see if I can keep this one. On a diet as well. Just look at the colours of the abdomen and that weird shiny circle pattern and the pink almost peach colours on the abdomen, the green carapace there and a nice juicy worm in the mouth. I mean, I've got a few Avix now, and anybody that's got Avix know they, they don't like the feel of skin. But this is an exception, this one. This one will just come out, normally does, and she'll just happily walk all over your hand and arm and then just go back in by herself. But as you can see, you can, I think you can understand why I've put this one on a bit of a diet. She just eats everything. But beautiful though. All right, so in this one, I have the Vicularis species Quitara, green, giant green pink toe. Absolutely loved this and wanted one of these. So let's see if it would take a cricket because this one did have a slim abdomen. There we go. Oh, Christ, dropped it in. Sorry, my bad. He's got it.
There we go, but I need to There we go, because I need to get that out. Food remains. So there we go. Sorry about that. I just managed to drop the cricket because they just wriggle off, but um she or he jumped down to get that. And let's get the poo off the screen. There you go. Really furry that one, beautiful avid species.